Welcome to a day in the life of Woody. It's going to start off with lawnmower repair. Ugh. This guy needs a belt. Um, what happened is Jack, or Hope started mowing and she's like, the belt's not, the, the blades aren't doing anything. And when I checked it, the belt had fallen off and it was torn up like that. Jackie is like the master of the serpentine belt. So I enlisted her to give me a hand and we're gonna give this thing a go. All right, so when I first started working on this, it was still out front when Hope said it wasn't working. Um, <laughs> there was tons of like grass in this area that I, I guess I hadn't properly cleaned from the previous time. And there were red ants and there were ticks. And it's like, geez, like, <laughs> Throw some scorpions in there, why don't you? So I brought it up here, I hosed it down, and now it's much cleaner. Jackie's just grabbing some of the, some of the remaining grass and, and cleaning it up. There's a diagram here that explains how the serpentine belt works. And we checked it and it actually matches real life, which is a benefit because there's a diagram here for the other belt that maybe you guys have seen us replace before. And, uh, it doesn't match real life. Like that is not what this looks like. So it's complicated to figure it out on your own. Anyway, we've got some cleaning and some belt lacing to do. So my idea was to start routing it in the back and then do all the stuff up front last. And Jackie, I guess she successfully resisted the urge to call me an idiot. She went with, no, you're wrong. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the front first. All right, I don't mean to overhype this, but you're about to witness some serpentine brilliance here. All right, so the front was really the hard part. Now she needs to if you can, can you move your head for a second? Mm -hmm. there, there's two pulleys in there, you can see. One there and one there. She needs to route there and then hook this, which the motor spins. And this part might take a little muscle. We'll see how it goes. We did it. We actually did it. There it is. It's probably not a big deal to you guys. But this is the first time she's ever driven an empty car not having Jackie or I there to tell her what to do. So, big moment. Hope is now a driver. All right, so first we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna drive it back. That much should be okay. Then we're going to turn on the blades, and that's the big test. So here we go. That was successful. We're a good team. Yes, we are. All right, so we fixed the lawnmower, but the Movengers are down a man. So I think we're gonna wait for her to come back. And in the meantime, Colin and I are gonna stack this wood, get ready for winter. I brought it all for a camping trip, that paramotor thing, but it turned out when they put out the call for wood, everybody brought wood and they definitely didn't need mine. So I ended up bringing it back home and uh, that's that. I didn't even consider that you're not supposed to bring wood across state lines. Uh, the reason is that like you can bring bugs that aren't like native to that area and cause trouble. But uh, anyway, let's stack some wood.
This is before. And this is after. I guess we added about a foot or so to the top of it. No big deal. I just wanted the golf cart empty, really. So I think there's some sort of proper lunch coming up, but I like this warm-up appetizer thing she's got going on. You guys have heard of ants on a log, which is just celery, peanut butter, and raisins. This is celery, peanut butter, and craisins. She calls it fire ants on a log. And now, my proper lunch is served. I'm happy that the yard is mowed. It looks a million times better. And there's a little part of me that's like, maybe I'll be flying out of it this mow cycle. I don't know, but I'm, I'm about ready, you know? I, <laughs> I feel like most pilots, by the time they have like 20 flights, they're, they're fine to fly without a mentor. Anyway, it's a thought. Uh, Hope's mower broke. That belt we replaced? already needs to be replaced again. So I need to check it and see what the story is. Maybe one of the pulleys not spinning or something and it's causing it to die. I'm not sure, but uh, it is what it is. This camera is almost out of battery. So I'm gonna shower up and charge the camera and this might be the end of our day. It was a good one. Colin is great. Oh, that was like a big deal. So we were a mower down, everything's taken longer. Uh, if you can see the clouds, it was worse before. It was like starting to rain, it's sprinkling on me, it's getting darker, not just because the sun's going down, but because the clouds are in the way and it's like thunder. And uh, Colin comes like over the horizon, having finished the stable area of the yard and joins in with me. And he just, he, he operates that machine like a, bad out of hell he's very good at it and uh, more than that he doesn't need to be told what to do as much and I like that a lot we used to have to point out like every high spot now he just sees them attacks them and does his thing with uh, with a smile on his face he's a very good worker so anyway uh, the yard is mowed the mower is both fixed and broken again that's where we are and this is dinner we have a lot of steak. Jackie got a new steak supplier and she's not sure all of it's gonna be as good as I'm accustomed to. So she gave me a lot and I could pick through it. A potato, peas, uh, lemonade, and that giant thing is butter. I'll just take a little slice and put the rest away. But not a bad dinner. So it's 10 o'clock, my day is nearly done, but Hope and I are gonna go out driving for a little bit. As you guys know, she went to school by herself today. And uh, 
The biggest obstacle for her doing it on the regular by herself appears to be just parking. So we're gonna find a parking lot and get in some reps. And uh, hell, all the fighters know, drillers are killers. I feel like a cliche. <laughs> so we're gonna drill a little bit, make sure she's awesome. So we're driving and uh, she's getting the knack for it, but I can see why she feels like she needed some practice. Um, things like watching the nose of your car because it swings out wide uh, and also watching the tail of your car in a parking lot. Like these are just things she needs a little reminder. We're targeting this spot right here. Not bad. Parking for patrons of lower level only. Wow, we're breaking the law and more ways than one tonight. <laughs> so. You should probably give them some context of why maybe I'm breaking the law joke. Uh, we're not sure if she's allowed to drive this late with me here. Without me here, we know that she's not. But with me here, it's tricky. But anyway, yeah, we've just been pulling into spot after spot, different situations, swinging wide when you're on the near side, and uh, getting some practice parking, because tomorrow she'll drive to school by herself, and she needs to do it in a busy parking lot. Hey, Dad, you know what you're also doing right now? Nope. Missing my awesome dance moves. I wouldn't say I'm missing them. <laughs> Well, that is it. We are calling it a day. <laughs> we practiced for maybe 30 minutes. I think there was some improvement there. And tomorrow, she'll drive to school. You just almost put your thumb up my nose. You, you know, you never know what I'll find. <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> Winner gets whatever was in her nose. Cause when you drive hits, they want you to pick up the bill Now my life is in Maryland, my heart is in Chicago New York state of mind, but out LA, man, that's where I go When I need to lay this shit down So much on my mind, that's the reason I'm spitting now